Three young men died in the weekend crash in Pasadena. Three others were seriously hurt. And now school officials at Marantha High School revealing those or several those of those victims have ties to the school. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Resendiz is live in Pasadena with the very latest. Eric. Philip Giovanna, many we've talked to in the community are just shocked and devastated following this deadly crash. Take a look right behind me. This is a growing memorial, folks. Keep dropping off flowers and candles in memory of those three young lives that were claimed. And investigators we've talked to, take a look. Well, they shared that just the way this crash happened was catastrophic. Now, school officials at Marinetha High School said that three involved in this crash went to the school. It was a tragedy that happened on Mother's Day weekend. In a flash, three people died and three were severely injured in a Pasadena crash. The Pasadena Police Department says this Tesla ran through a red light going over 100 miles per hour. The car hit a power pole, then into a vacant building. Marinetha High School, a Pasadena Christian school, is in mourning today. Three involved in the crash went to the school. Our two current students are in the process of, of being killed, we hope. Uh, and one of our former students uh, did not make it. The crash happened just after 2.30 Saturday morning near the intersection of Sierra Madre and Foothill Boulevards. One of the victims who died has been identified as Stephen Michael Pfeiffer, an Eagle Scout. The 20-year-old was a student at Pasadena College. Co-workers say Ezra Fezame and the 22-year-old driver Moed Samuel were also killed. Samuel's younger sister was seriously injured along with another man and woman. The ages of those involved in the crash range from 17 to 22 years old. Investigators say the cause of the crash is still under investigation and they're looking into all possible leads. There was evidence that alcohol was in the car. Um, however, we're unable to determine at this time if the driver was impaired or under the influence. School officials did not share the names of those involved in the crash. Senior ditch day was canceled. 15 counselors and professionals will be at school today to help students with the grieving process. Graduation was just around the corner. We're going to spend our time this morning uh, praying with them and encouraging them. Again, no one can know what our students are feeling. Uh, we are here just to empathize with them, to listen to them. I did speak with a mariner at the high school mother. She didn't want to go on camera, but she told me it's just a lot for the students in the community. It was Mother's Day yesterday. Finals are this week and graduation is just around the corner. Investigators say the three who were taken to the hospital, all of them are expected to survive. Investigators also wanted to share for families to talk with their children to drive safely. And just another message from residents in the area. They're just saying that this this is a pretty dangerous intersection here, a lot of revving and speeding. So folks, please be careful out there. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.